So I created the face logger because I have tremendous difficulty remembering people who I've met. Call it face blindness, call it simple inattention, but I find that the second time I meet a person, I struggle really hard to place their face. With my always on camera and my always connected cell phone, I finally have the opportunity to offload a little portion of my brain that wasn't working particularly well in the first place. The way it works is, whenever I meet somebody, I push this little button after I've met them, and this camera records the last 30 seconds of our meeting. The next time I plug this camera into my computer, the captured material is uploaded to my server, where it's broken up into little bits. It's broken up into individual frames that are then individually processed by a face API in order to identify likely faces. Those faces are then sent to Mechanical Turk, where Turkers all around the world are going to crowdsource the operation of identifying the best pictures. Simultaneously, the conversation that we had is transcribed automatically using Mechanical Turk. All that information is put together into what I call a face card, and I can review that meeting at my leisure. I wake up in the morning, I put the face logger around my neck, I push the record button, and I just go about my day. And when I realize later in the day that I've probably met someone and I'm going to forget them, I remember to push this button. This is a completely passive operation for me, other than pushing a button. With a single push of a button, I get the person's face, I get a transcription of our conversation, I get our location, I get the time of day, and whatever other data I want to include. Right now, there are food logger applications where I have to take my phone out of my pocket, I have to capture the food that I ate, and then add that to a database. Well, with an always-on video camera, all I have to do is point the camera briefly at the food, moments later, push the button, and then allow the Internet, probably through Mechanical tur Turk, to determine whether the video clip that I just took is of food, or it's of a face, or whatever other kind of passive data I want to collect with this system. And once the video clip that I've taken is determined to be food, well, then mechanical Turkers all around the world can identify what I'm eating and what the caloric content of that, that food is. The face logger is comprised of an off-the-shelf look-see camera. Now, I modified that camera to include a right-angle prism. That camera is supposed to be worn behind the ear like a Bluetooth headpiece. I figured that was probably a little bit too awkward for everyday use, especially when interacting with people on a face-to-face -face basis. The problem with the look -see camera as delivered is that it's got an infrared filter and it's not very sensitive to low light. So I'm currently modifying my new look -see camera and removing that IR filter and adding an infrared LED, which will turn on automatically when the lights are down, so that even in low light situations, I can remember who I've met. I know for a fact that many people are similarly afflicted and can't remember people either. In fact, that's why I have a mohawk, is to, to try and make it as easy as possible on everyone else to remember me from meeting to meeting. And it works pretty well.